Creating a Global Solution. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 177. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 177, August 14th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the honesty and integrity lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of honesty and integrity is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% of the written part of the beliefs lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the information lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week in Highest Good Food, the core team began adding the data for the transition kitchen equipment to the website, as you can see here. The one community approach to Highest Good Housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we verified video and other references noted in section 16 resources while making corrections on pages 64 to 161 relating to reference applications and accuracy to our specific project. We also initiated another comprehensive review and provided changes throughout the doc, heading color changes, reaffirming measurements, grammar, sentence structure, and adding two additional flashing sizes, 12 inch for French drain gutter and 16 inch for footer. We'd say we are now 94% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Jessica Zinda, drafter and designer, also continued her work updating the AutoCAD drawings for the footer and foundation. Here are the newest drawings as they continue to progress and evolve. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Strawbale Village Pod 2. What you see here is a section view of the living areas. Vidya Patil, quantity surveyor and civil CAD drafter, also continued with her third week of cost analysis for the Strawbale Village. What you see here are her initial analysis results for the game room, library, major hall, and outdoor dining area. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 31 of his work that focused on beginning to add foliage to the outside of the central dining and recreation structure for this village. Jaspreet Sand, graphic designer and computer engineer, also continued with his third week of designing the woodworking makerspace for the northwest wing of the Cobb Village Pod 3. 
What you see here are machines created as part of this layout. And Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD draftsperson and designer, continued evolving the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4. You can see his third week of work here showing the redesign of the laundry area, addition of a second floor group meeting space, and moving all the south bathrooms so they share a plumbing wall. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his ninth week of Photoshop work on the renders for the Shipping Container Village Pod 5. This week's focus was the initial versions of the third floor dining area, informal conference room, and this final version of the yoga and meditation room. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the Duplical City Center 3D renders. What you see here are the render updates in the dining dome north view of the kitchen where updates to the wall color were made and the texture of the floor was changed from tiles to stained concrete. And Ira Sue, industrial designer, continued exploring recycled pipe shelving and overhead lighting options for the Duplical City Center library. What you see here is round 15 of this work showing two more ceiling designs for the lights. Dipti Dondrecker, electrical engineer, continued to work on the lighting zones by further cleaning up and clarifying on the AutoCAD file where each zone begins and ends. The images you see here are her updated zones drawing and a collection of edits requested by the core team. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team revised and completed the shipping container village pod 5 color board with final color callouts, and revised and completed the recycled materials village pod 6 color board with final color callouts, and we revised and completed the earth bag village pod 1 color board with the final color callouts. Also this week, we made minor revisions to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 color board, which is now 99% complete. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, additionally completed her fifth week of work developing the new website structure. This week's focus was on the header and formatting and filter functionality. One community is creating a global solution, and our approach to doing that is by creating a self-replicating, sustainable, and self-sufficient community model to operate as a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, purpose to teach others how to create self-replicating models too. We believe that if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own around the world. And so these teacher demonstration hubs are purpose to be a solution model created to create additional solution creating models. To make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, we're open sourcing and free sharing all of the foundations of sustainability and expanding sustainability to include the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Combining those with the food, energy, and housing foundations that everybody's familiar with and open sourcing and free sharing all of them as do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for replication. This means the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economic models, the fulfilled living model, and the truer stewardship are all being designed and project launch blueprinted, meaning they're designed and open source and free shared specifically so that people can take everything that we're creating replicate it, modify it, evolve it, do it in the way that works best for them so that the idea can spread even faster. In so doing, we're creating a global suite, a globally collaborative suite of do-it-yourself instructions that cover all aspects of sustainability and expand sustainability to include these other ideas in these other areas. This is how we're creating a global solution, and we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it's not only possible, but that see this as a way to truly create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. We believe this is possible, and we've created a very clear and detailed and specific path to achieve this, and this is what our all-volunteer and unpaid nonprofit organization is about. 
So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, if you too possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, we invite you to get involved. Come and help us create this. We have lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer team that will move to the property and build everything as one community and launch the first teacher demonstration hub that people will be able to come and visit and experience if what they like. They'll be able to take that and replicate it using our open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources to joining us as volunteers, which are working behind the scenes, consultants working behind the scenes, volunteering their time, donating their time to help us develop all the different details, or just helping us by sharing our, our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Sue. We are on Pinterest. We're on all the different social media networks, probably another 10 or 15 beyond that, because the idea of creating a global solution has to be understood and embraced by the mainstream if it's to be successful. And so we are looking to reach that tipping point of participation so that that'll happen. And the only way that we can do that is if people help us share the information and then people that are interested in being a part of it or want to use some aspect of what it is that we're doing, join our team and help us develop it even faster. Of course, the other big thing that we could use that would help us move forward, it's not a big focus of ours right now because our primary focus is on all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints that we're creating, but we're also still seeking large-scale funding to help us get the property off the market that we've been working on and working, well, working towards and around and designing around and the county that we've built a relationship with now for over five years. We still don't own that property, so if you or somebody you know can help us get the property off the market, then we would like to talk to you, either through a donation or through investing in our 501c3 nonprofit organization. Whatever works best for you, we'd love to talk to somebody with the resources to, that, and the interest and the consciousness for the highest good of all that sees what we're, do, what we're doing as something that they like to invest in. As I said, our entire organization is unpaid volunteers. So every donation that we get, and the $5, the $10, the $15, the $20 donations make a big difference. The expenses of running a global organization like ours, even with an all-volunteer staff, the cost of our website and different security protocols and all the different details that go into developing a site like ours do have a sizable expense. And so thank you for everybody that has donated to our organization. Thank you just for following our organization. Thank you for sharing our information. Every little bit makes a difference. The idea of creating a global solution isn't possible unless it has large-scale participation. And by large scale, we're not talking a huge percentage of humanity. We're really just talking a large amount of people. And at this point, we've had hundreds of people participate and help volunteer their time to create what it is that we're creating. When we get to the point where we have thousands, we will be positively impacting humanity as a whole. This is how we're creating a global solution. This is how anybody can participate. And as always, I like to say thank you for following our progress. Thank you for listening to the end. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for liking this video. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, tools, tutorials, resources, everything that we're creating, you visit our RIT blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and get your updates that way. Thanks for following our progress. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.